The terminal point, p of x, y, determined by a real number t is given. Find the sine of t, cosine of t, and tangent of t. And the point that we're given is 7 25ths, negative 24 25ths. So what we'll do is we will draw a graph and put that point, 7 25ths, negative 24 25ths, on the graph. So if this spot here is an x value of 7 25ths, and this spot is a y value of negative 24 25ths, then this dot here would be the dot with coordinates 7 25ths, negative 24 25ths. We could draw a circle centered at the origin that passes through that dot and then draw an angle or a line segment that extends from the origin to that dot. And then we would have an angle in standard position here of theta. And the reference angle would be this angle, theta sub r. We could draw a vertical that goes from this spot, 7 25ths, on the x-axis down to the point on the unit circle where the line segment meets. And that would construct a right triangle. Now let's pull that right triangle out. And draw it a bit bigger so that we can label it and work with it a bit. This angle here would be our angle theta sub r, or the reference angle for the angle theta. Here would be our right angle. This side of the triangle would be 7 25ths. This side of this triangle would be 24 25ths. I'm not putting a negative here because we're talking about a triangle. When we find the sine, cosine, and tangent, what we will do is find the sine, cosine, and tangent for this reference angle, and then consider the fact that the terminal side is in the fourth quadrant, and that the sine is negative in the fourth quadrant, the cosine is positive, and the tangent is negative. Using the Pythagorean theorem, 7 25ths squared plus 24 25ths squared would be equal to this hypotenuse here, we'll call it r, r squared. So we would have 49 over 625 plus 576 over 625, and that would equal 625 over 625, or 1. So r squared is 1, so r is 1. So this side here, then, of this triangle is 1. Now to find the sine of this number t, we would have the opposite over hypotenuse, so 24 over 25 over 1. But we have to remember that we're in the fourth quadrant, and the sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. So this is just going to wind up being negative 24 over 25. The cosine of t will be adjacent over hypotenuse. We could also call it x over r. So 7 over 25 over 1. The cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant, so it's just going to be 7 over 25. The tangent, we could do in a couple of different ways. We could either do sine over cosine or y over x. Either way, we're going to wind up with the same thing. Y is negative 24 over 25. X is 7 over 25.
We could also look at this triangle and look at the reference angle and say, well, it's opposite over adjacent, which would give us the same thing, considering that in the fourth quadrant, the tangent is negative. Simplifying this, we'd have negative 24 over 25 times 25 over 7, since we invert and multiply when we divide with fractions. This would, of course, cancel the 25s. And this tangent, then, would be negative 24 over 7.